Here are a uh, set of Neuroco cassette dictating machines using a standard cassette rather than the normal mini cassette. The 2595 and the LFH0030 microphone. This one's made in Holland. I suspect this is made in Japan. There's no date on it, these. I'm thinking early 90s. So let's take things out of the box and take a look at them. We'll work on the cassette recorder first. Typical uh, instruction sheet from Philips Business Systems Company. Kind of the first clue that this is a dictating machine, not necessarily in their consumer electronics line. Pretty normal, simple instructions. This has variable speed control and it can do an index mark. Two more clues that this is not the normal consumer product. It's interesting here the external microphone accessory is listed as the LFH0031 or the one I have is an LFH0030. Alright, it comes in a very nice supple leather case. I don't particularly care for Velcro myself. Um, it seems to fall off after a while. Badge Norelco, very nice. And then here's the uh, cassette recorder. It's got a very sturdy feel to it. I'm sure it's plastic, but uh, it's got a lot of heft to it. Kind of nice detailing in areas where it's more has a texture to it. Uh, it's quite a nice detail has a speaker on the back and a place for two AA batteries. Here you have your record, play, microphone, fast rewind, fast forward, stop, eject, and your index mark buttons. At the top you have your earphone, pause button, record indicator light, and you have your volume. Boy, that's a hard font for me to see. That's, I believe it says 10 right there. And you have your mic and remote jacks. Those are not the mini jacks. Those are I think two and a half millimeter. You have up front, you have your counter and your tape speed indicator which goes from plus three down to minus two and let's see here don't know if we'll be able to get a good look inside but you can see the workings well, it's got a strap of course Here's the dictation microphone, once again in its own little very nice leather pouch. let's stop and take a look inside and look at the workings of it. When I got this I was particularly interested in how the gearing worked on the variable speed control. Sony chip top tone play it almost doesn't look like that's moving. There it is.
reverse. Fast forward. Yeah. All right, I wanted to see what it looked like with the speed control adjusted. Right now it's on zero. Uh, zero plus one plus two plus three. Let's drop it down real quick and see if we can see a change. Now we're down to minus two back up to three plus all right we'll start with a uh, Neuralco cassette I'm going to test the built-in microphone first and we'll stop at one point and we'll put on the conference mic and then when we play them back we can hear the results side by side and we'll test the uh, fast forward and rewind and we'll test the tape speed button on playback too. Alright, so I'm starting to record on the Neuroco 2595. Let's stop and plug in the conference mic. All right, now we're listening to the, uh, well, excuse me, we're making a recording of the 2595 with the, why don't we stop mic. this and play things back and see what we got. Let's rewind here. The first part we'll hear is my narration through the internal microphone right here. And then eventually it will go to the conference microphone. Alright, so I'm starting to record on the Neuroco 2595 automatic level control. set on zero, but that's only for playback. That won't be effective during recording. I notice this machine has a pretty clear tra tape transport noise. It will probably be picked up on that uh, internal microphone. I don't know what the date of this machine is. I'm guessing early 90s, but that's just a guess. It appears to have been made in Japan based on the uh, chips from the inside that say Sony. I don't know if it's a Sony machine. So we're listening to the internal microphone right now. Conference mic. Just sort of picture this stretched out in the middle of a conference table in some office somewhere. It's got a very small footprint. Let's stop and plug in the recording of the 2595 with the conference mic. Just sort of picture this stretched out in the middle of a conference table in some office somewhere. It's got a very small footprint. Corded wire. Don't know what the volume is going to be like here. How well it picks up. Compared to the uh, internal microphone. So, why don't we stop this and play things back and see what we got. 
Okay, there you heard the difference between the internal mic and the conference mic. I noticed that the tape transport sound was much less with the conference mic because of course it's further away from the tra tape transport. I'm really not able to test the index marker. Um, this probably needed a special machine that picked up that tone on playback and would go straight to it. Of course I don't have a full-size cassette unit that would do that. So that's the Neuroco 2595 cassette recorder, really a dictation recorder, and it's associated LFH-0031 conference mic. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.